Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how to fix the PTO shaft for the John Deere LV2210 with uh, this 47 inch front mount snowblower. So yeah, I'll go into the tractor here. What's going on here is this is the original shaft and if you watched it while it was spinning there was a huge amount of play. You could actually move it with your hands. Um, and the trouble is there's two joints. There's one back there. There's one here. Neither one you can actually grease. <clears throat> And uh, I don't know, I was just reading on some forums and basically it's pretty, a pretty crappily made thing and John Deere knows that it's bad too. So what I've done is I've ordered this new shaft. I'll include the part number in the description. So it comes with the shaft as well as these two new bearings. Um, there's no longer, um, there was another little, little shaft that went in here with a couple stops and uh, bearings. But there's no more of that so this is this shaft directly connects to the implement right there so i'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on and uh show how it looks when when it's all set up all right so i got this stupid thing on uh what i did was i put the front bracket on first before putting the shaft onto the pto slid the shaft or then attached the shaft back to the thing and uh, I left these bolts and washers loose while I was doing it. I'm going to tighten them up once and uh, I'm going to actually tighten them a little bit, run it a little bit, then tighten them fully so it gets seated nice. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and attach. It's pretty short here, but uh, I just tested it and uh, the, the thing clips on. So looks like she'll fit. We'll find out when I get the blower on. Um, the one other trick I did here was to put the bracket on my slow blower super super tight to, to get it in there so I just use a nice little floor jack to, to kind of help me maneuver it and then get it into place so it's like really tight against the, the tractor when it's in there but the jack helps a lot so it was a pain in the ass but uh she's in all right so I got the blower back on that was super easy uh put this thing back on right in there she fit nice uh everything looks really good actually grease these fittings too um yeah that's basically it guys looks like she's gonna work i'm gonna give her a test run all right so here we go here's the pto oh yeah much better no more upgrades to vibration problems snowballing she's uh looking pretty good here Give her a run. So I've shown you guys how to upgrade the PTO shaft and the John Deere 2210 with a 47 inch snowblower. I really hope this video helped you out. Please drop me a like if it does.